Hi everyone, it's Gail and it's time for an Etsy share. So I have a little stack of goodies here I want to share with you all. And um, the first one is from MK Maz Designs, my friend Mary Kay over there. Um, I had ordered this book from her and so then she um, sent me some new goodies from her shop. Yay! So... Mary Kay, let's look. I, I'm embarrassed to say, but you'll be able to relate. I almost can't remember which book I ordered from her. Well, that's just how that goes. Look how she wrapped it in this cute little doily. This is so fun. Okay. Oh, yes, yes. Little Men. Isn't that just the best illustration? Okay, it's got a little repair on the spine, so I'll probably cover that with um, fabric or something. But, yeah. Oh, it's got great pages, too. Look at the fun. I, I actually want to read it first because I haven't read it yet. But it's copyright 1928. So... She's dedicated it to her nephew. So anyway, I, I'll look at that later. But uh, MK has a lot of wonderful vintage books in her shop. If you haven't been over in a while, MK Maz Designs. And look at this fun little towel. That's just so fun. Okay, so let's see what uh, Mary Kay has new in her shop. 12 different quilt pieces in the shop. Great for journal covers. Oh, yes, for sure. Let's see. Let's take a look. Oh, yeah. They're perfect for journal covers, aren't they? Oh, isn't that awesome? I love old quilts, you guys. I got another awesome deal yesterday at the Vintage Market um, on an old quilt. 20 bucks. 20 bucks. Oh, I love that, too. That's really neat. And that is just, I mean, essentially ready to go, isn't it? Mmm, love it. Then there's this one. This is a quilt top. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, gosh, I love these. Thank you, Mary Kay. Oh, wow, look at this one. This one's old and tatty. Gosh, I love them. I love them when they're well-loved like that, you know? And then this is just some blue fabric, but lovely. So great for journal covers is right. So she's got 12 different kinds. She just sent a sampling. So there's that. Then let's see. Oh, um, she says price is reduced in her shop because she found a large amount of what's in here. So she's wrapped it in some beautiful eyelet lace. Oh, she found a bunch of slides, apparently. That's awesome. Yay, how fun is that? So, yeah, these are so much fun to create with. I love it. Take out the, I do, take out the little middle part and put something fun in there. Awesome. So that also, Kodak slides. Um New item in shop, fabric sample cards. Isn't that fun? Fabric sample cards, and they say Gus on them. My oldest daughter, well, my son and my daughter were nicknamed Gus. My son in high school and my daughter in college. You know, Augusta Nelly, Gus, yeah. So that could be really fun in a journal for them, is what I'm thinking. That's so fun. And then what do we have? New stamp packs in the shop, she says. New stamp packs. Oh, great. Yeah, they're looks like they're by color, kind of. This is some red, green. Oops. Got a sorry silk fuzzy. And these are just, you know, a variety. Okay, she's 
I, I was trying to see how she had this closed up. She's not going to lose a stamp, by golly. She's got it all done up with washi, which I will save because that's really cute. So let's look at the variety ones. Yeah, they're just all sorts of variety. Oh, look at that one. That's a cool U.S. Bicentennial. Yeah, just a whole variety of them. Louisiana. Cool. Cool, cool. And, you know, I was having a lot of fun with the cover that I made from stamps. So collaging with these is a ton of fun. It really is. So she's got a variety of stamps in her shop as well. Okay, so I'll set those in the back in there. And then um, she's also got vintage recipe cards, which I love these. I think they're so much fun. Creamy potato soup. Mmm. Let's see. So, I don't know. I call them grandma recipes <laughs> because they remind me of my my grandma's recipe cards. Although that's Mary Inglebright, so that one's not super old, but yum. Creamy potato soup. I, I'll have to show these to my husband, see if he wants to keep any of them. We've got quick spider pie. Oh, that's interesting. So at the vintage market yesterday, my friend and I had, I'd never heard of them, pie fries. Have you guys heard of those? They're like, oh, about half the size of this card, like this, and they're about this thick. And it's pie dough and pie dough and then a filling. So she had all different kinds of flavors. I had caramel apple. My friend had um, strawberry rhubarb. But yeah, they were really good. So I... Huh. Melt one stick butter or margarine in spider. Take off heat. I, so the spider must be some kind of cooking utensil. I don't know. Coconut cake. Polynesian chicken. We've got your lemon bars. Oh, this is fun. This one. Sweet and sour salad, chocolate chews, soft oatmeal cookies. Don't forget the salt. Do not. <laughs> Oven French toast with nut topping and cranberry nut coffee cake. Wow. I love grandma recipes. Those are awesome. I'm going to share those with my hubby. There might be something in there that intrigues him. So that and then oh and wait there's more wait there's more oh new very old flash cards <laughs> new in her shop is what she means so yeah you can tell they're all yellowed Ooh, those are going to be fun to play with yeah yeah thank you mary Kay. and this is gorgeous too look at that beautiful that needs to go in a journal. Uh-huh. Vintage book pages. You know, we can never have too many of those. Because you do go through them. Sorry, guys. I can't get it out of the sack. So, Greg shorthand pages and some um, floral, floral bug pages. <laughs> it's from a floral book, I think. So there's those. And then bird prints clipped from book, uh, bird art books. Oh, aren't those just so fun? Bird prints. <laughs> Look at this guy. Oh, he's great. Oh, I just love how she puts things together for us. This reminds me of Spring Meadow Lake. I'm going to put that in my own journal. And this, oh, that looks like Freeze Out Lake in Montana. 
That reminds me of my, my friend Emily and her chickens. Yeah, so anyway, a packet of a whole bunch of bird prints. Look at that. That's so cool. So, there's that. And then, oh gosh, and then black and white photos. How fun is that? I love these old photos. It's got some film attached. Oh my gosh, aren't these so fun? Yeah, 1966. Oh my gosh, look at that with the saddle shoes. I love that one. The ladies with their saddle shoes. Oh. Yeah, these are awesome, Mary Kay. She must have had a, had a little shop at a estate sale or something. Oh, look at that. The barbershop quartet. <laughs> That's so cute. Oh my gosh. Anyway, and then black and white photos. And then Mary Kay has uh, lots of new tags in her shop and she makes great tags. Let me just show you this one. Get it out of its package and show you. So um, this one was book page and doily. Some grungy paper and a flower. Love that. Love that, Mary Kay. So MK Maz Designs, guys. She's got everything you need for an awesome journal. I'm going to keep that little film strip. So that's where we start is with um with mary kate and then this one let me get it out i decided i was going to start opening the cards so it saves a little time but this is from johnette at gypsy general store bless her heart she said surprise i'm sending you another package in april since i'll be away for the most of may i decided to go big for the final days of April with a 50% off sale. So I will put all this information, I'll update her information under the sales. So yeah, she's 50% off through April 30th. Again with Johnette, if you mention Gail in the order comments, you'll receive a free gift. So isn't that a cute card that she made? I love it. Love it, love it. And look at this beautiful lace she tied this with. So I'm not cutting this. I'm gonna just, I'm gonna work on it with my, my thinner nails here that I don't have. There we go. I think we're getting it. Okay. So, let's see, what's Johnette up to? Oh, goodness. Okay. We've got Fun Fibers, 50% off. She's got lots of colors available. Yarn, eyelash trim, and more. So we've got a few eyelash trims. This is cool. This is really textural. Look at that. Isn't that fun? Yarn. Yes. Okay. And then... We've got a couple of, couple of blues and then a nubby yarn. So she's got all kinds of yarns and trims. I'm telling you, between MK Maz and uh, Gypsy General Store, you're set. <laughs> you're set to go. And fabric, her hand-torn fabric. She does such a nice job on her hand-torn fabric. Oh, look, there's a Christmas one. That would be lovely for fall at the blue so yeah she's got a lot of hand torn fabric at gypsy general store okay pop that back in there and let's see cards oh these are those definition card type things again 50 percent off um, she's got several languages available this looks like german maybe and I don't know, <laughs> but it's fun. 
some of the different languages. Awesome. I have to look at those and see if there's any five letter words for my Wordle. <laughs> yeah, awesome, Johnette. Ephemera kits, 50% off. I have several varieties in stock. I also have a large selection of tags, altered cards, mini journal books, and more. So let's take a little look here at her ephemera kit. There's all kinds of stuff in here. Oh my gosh, look, there's just everything you could want. Merchandise tags and other little tags and little bits of paper, small index cards, little envelopes. That's an envelope. That's a coin envelope. That's really cute. I've never seen that color before. Um, playing cards, little CD envelopes, some of the definition cards, tags, more envelopes, um, Rolodex cards, little uh, index cards, bigger tags, little piece of Tim Holtz, some bingo, some Tim Holtz people, guest check, bigger envelope, book page, some other um, papers, a little folder here that's got tickets in it. There's blue, white, and pink. Some little Tim Holtz um, journal cards. Oh, sorry guys, I'm not very coordinated. That's kind of a little guest check. These are some of the bigger cards. Uh, flash cards, layaway tag, little flamingo bag. And this little card is like a recipe card, a couple recipe cards, receipt, score sheet, and another Tim Holtz piece. That's really fun. We'll have to see if we can make some, make some ephemera out of that little kit. That would be fun. Okay, so that's all. That's from Johnette at Gypsy General Store. Fifty percent off till April thirtieth. And mention Gail in the comments, and you'll get a free gift. So there is all of that. I'm about to sneeze, so I'm going to put this on. The <coughs> Excuse me, floor. I apologize, gosh. It seems like it happens every video these days. This must be spring. And then I got a package from um, Claudia at Timeless Crochet for You. Um, I feel like I had, I feel like I'd ordered these and I love those. And um, so she also included a few gifts, like uh, these are bees in all different sizes. And then some of her flowers in the turquoise and pink, because she knows those are my favorite colors. So um, she wanted me to be sure and tell you that if she d doesn't have an item listed in her Etsy, then message her. Because she could, she could make you, like if you wanted the bees, she could make you a pack of those. These are um, like little pieces of lace that, you know, she's cut out. So they're fabric, this pack that I purchased. And then the paper in the bees and the flowers. So yeah, so that's Claudia at Timeless Crochet for you. Thank you so much, Claudia. I'm excited excited to have all of that we'll just have some fun with that okay so then oh then i have an announcement kind of here for um let's see if that goes with that for deb at artsology you might know that deb had um taken out these bags out of her inventory on her um etsy shop because um, she, her brother was sick. Well, he has since passed, so um, prayers for you, Deb. I'm, I'm so sorry, but I'm so glad you got to be with him as he transitioned. That's really a big deal. So anyway, all that to say, Artsology now has these fabulous bags. You guys, I love these. I think they are absolutely gorgeous. And she's got them back in the shop. Again, if you don't see them, just message her. 
and that's true of anybody really so look at these um th this one i ordered i think was um and then this was one she sent me earlier but yeah they're so fabulous and they're just so fun to you know put in your journal as a as a piece in the in the signature so what i would do is pop them in like that and then i'd probably cut this edge to make another pocket on that side but aren't they terrific so I have no idea how she does them. She prints them somehow, but really cool. So thank you, Deb, for letting me know that so you guys can go back over there and get these cool sacks. Okay, then my friend Delinda sent some new things in her shop. Um, so the first thing is she's got this fun little um it's like a a lace fabric flip isn't that pretty oh she sent two so yeah lace fabric flips i think those are gorgeous thank you so much delinda i think those are awesome so those and then she's been busy um she said she uh has been dying to share this it's a twist on our friend Rhonda without an h's tracing paper pages um i thought what a great way to get rid of some of the lace that she has so here she here's some here's one that's lace so there's pink lace in this one and then she has a lace sheer curtain. Can you see that okay on camera? Let me get it up there so you can see the lace behind. Yeah. And um, and then she's got one here that's coffee dyed lace that she put this way. You know, the pink goes this way. And then this one fills the whole page. There's a white lace and a very thin sheer curtain. You can just see the grain behind. And then she also did one with fabric. So I like how the fabric's kind of coming out the end, but see, it's got little, little bicycles on it. So this is Delinda's twist on Rhonda without an H, her tracing paper pages. And then fabric flips, which is a great idea, I think. So, Delinda, thank you, and um, yeah, very fun. All great ideas. Never ceases to amaze me, all the ideas. Okay, and then I got a Bob at Signet Stamps. He's been busy. So, these stamps on this, on this um, little board, well, the board's new. He's got these that would go in a like a three ring binder and you could put you put your stamps on there and there you go so um i don't know yeah you can see let me get the black back there you can kind of see the stamps the this was another collaboration let me put them right side up that might help um another collaboration with jessica at two silver oranges she had some old stamps that she contacted Bob to see if he could make you know do a like a reproduction and they're really cool they're kind of um oh what would you say let's 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 just stamp a couple and so you can see um so let's say we're let's say this is a page in our journal and let's just stamp a little bit and just, I'm just going to leave them all together and just kind of do a bit, just sort of on an edge here or something. See how cool those are? They're, um, they're really grungy looking and fun, I think. Isn't that cool? Yeah. Me, let me do this down here so it's um two different sets of numbers and then 
the symbols. And then there's these little ones. Let's do a couple of those. I'll just put those up there like that. See how cool? Yeah, love them. Good job, Bob. Good job, Jessica. They're real fun. Real fun. So, yeah. Now, I'll probably take them apart, but I just wanted to kind of show you what they look like. So, I'm just going to stamp it off a bit. And then your stamp goes back on your little piece here. Ready to go for next time. Yeah, super cool. Th thanks, Bob. I appreciate you letting me know about these because... So I ran over and picked them up, and then I saw um, Jessica at Two Silver Oranges. She has a video on these, too, where um, she talks about her collaboration with Bob. So, yeah. So there's that. Okay, did you notice there weren't any digitals today? Crazy, huh? Well, guess what? I got a few kits done. I just listed them this morning. So this one, the kit is called, oh, so my uh, Etsy shop is Cinnamon Tea. Come on, Gail, do a good job with yourself too. <laughs> so anyway, French Letters is the name of this kit. Am I semi in camera? I guess I am. So um, yeah, I just got this beautiful ephemera um, and I showed it in a previous Etsy, so you guys have seen it. But um, I got permission to go ahead and make a digital. So I did. So this is the front of the letters. And then the letters are written on that, on that paper. So it's like folded paper. Folded paper, but it's got the stamps and everything. I guess in the olden days, you could just fold the paper and send it off like that. So... This one's 1885. I love the script on that. This one, 1873. This one, 1879, maybe, looks like. And this one, 1871. So, some cool old documents. So, yeah, I was able to scan those. So, those, they're called French Letters. The digital is called French Letters. And then, tomorrow for um, Mixed Media Monday, but I thought I'd show this now anyway, I made some more splatter papers. This is one that I made a long time ago, and I've had lots of requests to do a digital. So, I have two kits. The kit name is Splatters. So this is kit one of Splatters. And if you watch the video tomorrow, you'll see me making these. Uh, there was a few mishaps in the making of these papers. <laughs> so it's one of those scale videos <laughs> is what it is. Oh boy. And this one. I kind of did the foresty kind of um, nature-y feeling ones in one kit. And then um, the second kit is a variety of colors. So we've got yellow and purple and pink and blue. And this was my mop-up paper, and then I treated it with the splatters and stuff, and I love it. Isn't it funny how sometimes your mop-up paper is one of your favorites? But yeah, so this second kit is more colorful, but I'm super excited to play with these, probably be playing with those in videos to come. So, yeah, the only digitals today are from Cinnamon Tea. So, there you go. There's three there. Okay, everybody. Let's see. I think we are all set. Have I told you about Tink's? I can't remember. 
if this was has just come in, it might have. So there is a uh, twenty percent off the whole shop of um, <sighs> junk journal ephemera. So Tink, I I need to make sure that's on the on the sale list. So that's it for today, guys. I hope you have a wonderful Sunday. Have a grateful day, and I'll just see you in the next video. Bye.